T minus 15 seconds. Vehicles configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Lift off of Falcon 9. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one props nominal. T plus 40 seconds and Falcon 9 is on its way with a countdown of the last 10 seconds All by right, Iridium right. CEO Matt Desch. We're throttling down now in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle supersonic. RC on countdown one, first motion time 15 colon 31 colon 33 decimal 492 UTC. Calling out the time there of liftoff over the net. Position of signal. Hold We're on. through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. Merlin engines continuing to perform at 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Falcon 9 heading out into the upper atmosphere. Nice view from the first stage camera looking aft. We're headed south from Vandenberg Air Force Base, Space Launch Complex, Four East. MVAC engine chill. The MVAC engine cheer call out indicates that we have now opened up the oxygen that goes to the pump on the second stage engine, chilling it down for ignition coming up about a minute from now. We're hearing good call outs. Propulsion looks nominal, the trajectory looks good. Now coming up will be rapid fire events. Main engine cut off, we shut down the nine Merlin 1D engines. At two and a half minutes, we will separate the stages. We'll light the second stage engine. And at just a little bit after that, we'll relight three engines on the first stage to begin slowing it down for landing in the Pacific Ocean on our drone ship. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one is entered its foot. So we've had successful shutdown of the first stage. It's separated. It's doing the flip to reorient and it's lit its three engines to begin slowing it down to come to the drone ship. Meanwhile, on the right hand side of the display, second stage engine has ignited, begin propelling the Iridium satellites. You can see them there as we get ready for fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. <laughs> Stage one, who's back shut down? A lot of events happening. You saw the fairing separate, and you can see one half of the fairing drifting away behind the second stage on the right hand side of the display. On the left side, we've had shutdown from the boost back Stage burn, two, and you can see the titanium grid fins slowly extending. That's nominal for those grid fins. The white flashing you see, that is attitude control gas, nitrogen, that's used to orient the first stage. Stage one entry burn has started. Call out the entry burn on stage one has started. Three engines up and running. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. And the entry burn, shut down, called out over the countdown net, as you heard. Stage one, FTS is safe. Everything continuing to look good. First stage entry burn has ended. We're less than a minute until the third and final landing burn, followed by touchdown on the drone ship. And you can see the first stage descending back down through the atmosphere as it's coming up on the cloud deck. 
Now, as a reminder, we may lose live video the coverage on the drone ship as the engine exhaust degrades the radio frequency signal. Now, if that happens, we'll share status updates on the first stage as they become available. Drone ship AOS. Drone ship AOS means the drone ship has acquired the signal. Center engine has lit. We're slowing ourselves down, preparing to find the drone ship right underneath us. You've got the camera view from the drone ship now. Waiting to see the first stage come into view. And we're getting the signal drop out, which is not unusual. We're gonna keep pressing on. We have not heard confirmation. Falcon 9 has landed. Landing operators moving to 11.1. There you go. We heard the call out from Recovery. Falcon 9 has landed. We hope to get a shot of it on the deck of the drone ship. And we've got the view back from this drone ship. There it is, right in the middle of the bullseye. The first stage is back again down on Earth. 